Hello traders and welcome to Stock Goodies Chart School. The Chaikin Oscillator is a momentum indicator for the accumulation distribution line. Basically, it supercharges the AD line. It was developed by Mark Chaikin and it measures the momentum of the accumulation distribution line using the formula for the MACD. This makes it an indicator of an indicator. The Chaikin oscillator is the difference between the three-day exponential moving average of the AD line and the 10-day exponential moving average of the AD line. So let's go ahead and load it up here on this stock chart for FENG here at StockCharts.com. If you scroll down to the bottom in the chart attributes area, go down to the bottom, indicators, click there. And we are looking for Jiken Oscillator right there, set at a standard period of three days and 10 day EMAs. Okay, now this is one indicator you can adjust the settings on. Okay, if you want smoother lines, double this to 6 and 20, or always make it the same ratio. But whatever your multiplier is, try to keep the same ratio, it makes it work best. Okay, go ahead and click update. And here is the Chai OSC. That's its nickname. Set at a period of 3 and 10 with a reading of 58.593. Okay, now it gives signals by crossing up and down through the zero line, which is, you just barely see it, but there's zero right there. Okay, so this was a buy signal right about here. Looks like it worked. This was a sell signal, didn't work because it got back above the zero immediately and held it as support. Now right here is a sell signal that did work. Chios dropped below zero right there on that line and the stock broke support right here and fell. Then it started showing that there was momentum in accumulation off of this bottom. Now remember tops and bottoms are formed with high volume okay and breakouts into blue sky territory should have the highest volume as it did right here when it closed this day above all levels of resistance okay that's a that's a perfect setup but the buy signal came right here okay so you were in at four dollars it ran immediately to five topped out at about six so that was a good buy signal right there Now let's take a look at some other examples of the Chaikin Oscillator in action. Now remember that the buy signal happens when it crosses up through the zero line like it does right there and volume starts to reach all time highs on the chart and it moves from $2 to a high right here of $7.50 in about two weeks. There is your perfect reversal candlestick with the long upper wick, the tiny bottom at the low, right near the low with just a tiny lower wick. That's almost a perfect shooting star. Okay. Then it does a pullback of about over 50%, probably due to the 62% fib line. Does a little top right here and breaks support in this area and falls more. This whole time, Chai Osk is below zero, and then right here, it crosses back up through the zero line on increasing volume and runs again from 250 up to almost seven dollars. Now let's take a look at the sell signal Chai Osk gave on this chart when it crossed down through zero right about there. And yes, it did work. It fell hard. Now let's go ahead and take a look at RAIL. First of all, there's a huge gap down on super high volume. Bad earnings, bad news. Something caused it to drop from 24 down to about 21 that day. Okay, Chiosk at that moment drops below the zero line. Becomes bearish. 
Then it crosses back up through it as it tries to get a hold here. This is actually fairly bullish action because it's staying above the zero line. But right here is where it loses it. Okay, it drops below the zero line right here. And the stock does go down. Now this time, this high was much lower than that high. And when it lost support right here, it fell hard on big volume. Okay. Then right here it shows accumulation, momentum in accumulation starting up. It tries to get above the zero line but fails. Then Chios trends down along with the stock. But right here it shows that momentum in accumulation is increasing and the buy signal comes when it crosses back up through the zero line right here. But it warned early that accumulation was, there was momentum behind this accumulation. Now this volume spike right here broke it. This high on this day right here was above all of this resistance right here. These three points of resistance. And then on the huge volume today, it broke out above all levels of resistance here. Okay, The next resistance area is right here. Now let's take a look at SPEX. Okay, first of all, it looks like it was riding the zero line, then took a nice little up spike on some volume here. Broke out from 750 to about $15 in three sessions. Wow. Long upper wick here. It goes ahead and breaks out again to $15. Again. But right here is where the Chios gave the sell signal. Okay, so in that case, it wasn't the best one. Okay, then it, the stock pulls back all, almost 100%. Over here, it's a little more. Volume starts coming in right here. Chiosk is still down. Okay, it shows momentum in accumulation right here on this move. Okay. Tries to get above the zero line, does it, but crosses back down immediately. And then here is the buy signal. When it crosses back up through the zero line after being below it right here, this was the buy signal. Volume picked up two or three days later and broke it out above this area of resistance and almost this one too. So that was a nice move from about, uh, say, $6 to $12.50 in four sessions. There is your doji reversal candle. So it goes down for two days, but then something happened today to make it run from, to gap up from roughly $10 to 12 at the open and run to $27.50 on the biggest volume on this chart. Okay, so if you were paying attention to the buy signal, you would have been in below 750 to 2750 for a $20 score on this buy signal of the Chikan oscillator alone. Now let's take a look at ALLT. First of all, I see a lot of action below the zero line here. Right here, it really crossed down through it and the stock fell dramatically. But what I'm looking for is, I don't short, so I like to buy. I like, I'm looking for buy signals here. When Chios is below zero and then pops up through it and then shows a very strong move to the upside on extremely strong volume. Okay, so that was the buy signal. The stock ran from roughly $12 to 1350 then right here it crossed back down through zero but managed to stay above it for the most part this entire time. Supported the zero line as you can see is fairly bullish if you're a long-term trader. And now let's go ahead and take a look at some of these really small signals. Right here was a buy signal when it dropped below the zero line. Crossed back up through it. The stock went up a little bit. Same thing here. Here was another buy signal. Stock went up. And then it, it was below zero right here and then crossed back up through it and stayed above it from then on. And the stock definitely went up. 